Before you proceed, I recommend making a full backup on your device with an SD card. In this video, you will lose all of your data and have to restore the device two times. If you don't have any knowledge, please pay full attention and you may cause errors if you don't. I am not responsible for brick devices. Hey there guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Lollipop on your LG L90. Um, as you can tell I'm running Lollipop right here. And now I'm just going to show you how to get it. It's really simple. First of all, you're just going to turn off the device. So now the device is off. What we're going to do now, we're going to hold the volume up button. Okay, keep holding the volume up button. And what you're going to do, you're going to plug in your device. I recommend using the LG cable because for some reason Samsung one does not really work with me. I think that's just me. I don't know. I'm not sure. But like I said, I'd recommend LG's. Hold volume up and then plug in. You're going to get this menu. It's going to take a little bit to get into the download screen. Just give it a second. You cannot do this until it's in the download screen. And remember, please make a full backup before doing this. Um, save it to your SD card because you will lose the backup if you save it to your internal storage. It will not work out if you had saved it to your internal storage. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and go to the PC. Hey there, guys. Alright, so now we are on our PC. So now we're going to go ahead and go to our file system. Um, depending on where I saved it, Actually, I know where I saved it. It's in the recovery drive folder. LG LG flash tool. We're going to launch this. It's going to ask you for admin, so the screen is going to go black. Because it doesn't really... Okay, that never... Okay, it will later go like that. I know that for sure. You're going to click this folder. Um, I don't remember where I downloaded this uh, flash tool. But I will research it and put it in the description. If it's not there, it's because I haven't had time to do it, so it may be there. I will try to do it. So, you're going to pick a KDZ file, alright? Just pick the KDZ file. Um, the link will be, for sure, in the description for this kind of uh, version. It's D41520B. Um, if you want the D41510C, that's the very first stock ROM, and the D41510E is the... Um, Update that got rid of the root access, and D41520B is Lollipop. So this is Lollipop right here. And then what you're going to do, you're going to leave everything here the exact same. You change anything, it can result to um, issues. So you're going to click Normal Flash. Okay. Don't type anything don't type anything at all whatsoever nothing goes here you're gonna click start okay now it's a black screen it's because it's asking me for admin privileges um so I'm gonna it says yes or no and just in case you guys know what it says it says do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes on this to this computer sorry I, I suck at reading um, program name, LG user cs 2exe you know, blah, 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 hard drive on the computer, whatever. I can show details, and it's just a bunch of codes. We're going to click yes. Sorry, I just had to, because some people think it could harm your PC. It will not harm your PC whatsoever, okay? You're going to click different country. Um, I don't think this would matter if you don't do this, but I recommend it. To just to change it to where you are, I guess. Um, but yeah, and then you're going to click OK. So then it's going to take a couple of seconds for this LG window to appear that you cannot remove. So it's going to say here now. It's going to do this thing. I don't remember what it's checking for. But it's going to say with some kind of server error. You're just going to click OK. It doesn't mean anything. You're just fine. Uh, nothing went wrong. It's going to look like something went wrong and failed. It's going to happen in a second. I think it's like five seconds or something like that into it or maybe immediately I have no idea I don't remember all right right here so it says do you wish to cancel LG mobile phone software upgrade connection to server failed so you cannot connect to the server do not connect to the server you're just gonna click OK it looks like something went wrong but on your phone 
it's already at 1%, and this does take 10 minutes at the max. Anyways, I will be right back once this thing is complete, and it's going to reboot right after, so. Hey there, guys. So we are at 96%, alright? 100. Alright, now it's going to reboot. Now you can unplug it. Okay, unplug it. Take out the battery. Alrighty. Just drop the case. Battery's out. Now you're going to hold volume down. Let go of the power button and press it again really fast. Keep holding, keep holding. And you get this. Okay, click yes. And then yes again. And then it's going to reboot. Let it reboot. Um, and once we get to the setup, we're going to restore it again. Because when you first restore it, there, there's just always an issue, you know? So we're going to re-restore it again once it's booted up officially all the way, you know? So I'm going to pause this video and I'll be right back. Um, before I go ahead, um, if you unplug your phone and you get a bunch of weird messages on your computer, ignore those. Those are nothing whatsoever. But now we're just going to go ahead and power... Actually, we're going to set up the device first. So you're just going to power off your device. It should be quicker now since we don't have anything really on here. I think I messed up. Okay. So, volume down to select, power button to select, volume down, power button, there you go. Once it reboots, you can set it up however you want to. It's going to work completely. It's basically refreshed now, and it should just do everything just fine. Anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm going to be uploading here now for my tech videos, my other channel. We'll never have a tech video, probably never again. Um, I realize that that channel is mainly for skits and you know stuff like that, so stuff like this should not belong on this that channel. It belongs on this channel. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, get me to 100 subscribers, and on my other channel, if you get me to 500, I'll do a international giveaway. Peace out.